Welcome back to another episode of The Heavy Burns Extremely Magical Original Directory of Super Passable Hardware, a specially refined edition for Skyrim. Or the Modosphere for short. Thor is bored so has decided to go exploring in a nearby cave. He strapped his adventurous backpack full of handy trinkets and wandered deep into the long abandoned rocky cavern. He was super excited to see what he could find. And unlike the rest of his previous adventures, this time it was his decision, which meant he could do whatever he wanted. Like peeing in the stream, which otherwise would be deemed socially unacceptable. Ah, spider! <laughs> Thor reckoned if he stayed extremely still, then it wouldn't be able to see him. But the spider didn't really mind him being there anyway, and so just left him on his merry way, to which Thor took as an opportunity to GTFO out of there. After hiding on top of a ledge for a short moment like a coward, Thor continued onto the cave before coming across this strange room with lots of bones everywhere. Thor wondered what had happened here but forgot all about it when he saw a small satchel in the corner which he proceeded to stare at for a moment before opening it up, looking inside and finding a strange spell tome, which he then decided to use against my permission. The spell transported him to a small pocket dimension which seemed to be a magically inclined home of some sort and for some reason the cameraman suddenly lost interest in Thor for once and decided to have a very cinematic look around the building. The walls were decorated with intricate stone statues and carvings with large draping ivy hanging alongside them. The furniture was clean and very aesthetically pleasing with a ginormous banquet table making up the centerpiece of the room. And as I continued to narrate, a strange voice began to sing, which was my cue to shut up. Very nice, but this is... Excuse me, lady. Can I just... Good, you're done. Anyway, as I was saying, Thor took a look around the dimension and found many useful and unique features and crafting stations. He then continued on through a door into the Spirit Forge. Wait, no, I don't want to go. Oh thank god she stopped singing. I can finally narrate the rest of the showcase. Wait, no, this isn't fair! See what you've done now, Thor? You can't even let me have five minutes. Wait, who's that? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. A letter? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. 
I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Thor, remember, it's your day off. You better not...